The Bank of Canada recently made its first round of cuts in the key interest rate. After stagnating at the 5% level, June saw the first cut come down to 4.75%. With that in mind, there are quite a few TSX stocks that should certainly benefit. So, let's discuss those stocks and why now is the best time to buy. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members-only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. Colliers. First, we have real estate companies that should certainly benefit from the cut in interest rates. Lower borrowing costs also benefit commercial real estate projects. Developers and investors can finance projects at cheaper rates, potentially leading to more commercial developments and higher occupancy rates. This can positively impact real estate investment trusts REITs, that own and operate income-producing real estate. Of those, Collier's International Group, TSX, CIGI, should certainly benefit. Collier's is a global real estate services and investment management company. With its broad range of services, it stands to benefit from increased transaction volumes and property values driven by lower interest rates. Its recent performance shows a positive trend with a notable price increase over the past month. Collier's has been focusing on expanding its investment management segment, which has been a significant growth area. The company's recent earnings reports have shown steady growth, and it has been investing in technology and data analytics to improve service delivery and client outcomes. So it's certainly one of the best stocks to buy right now. Scotiabank. More top stocks to consider are those in the financial sector. While lower interest rates can compress net interest margins, the difference between the interest banks earn on loans and pay on deposits, they also stimulate borrowing. Increased consumer and business loans can boost overall lending volumes. Banks with significant exposure to mortgage lending may see increased activity as home buyers take advantage of lower mortgage rates. Yet, of the bank stocks, Bank of Nova Scotia, TSX BNS, is a top contender. Scotiabank has significant exposure to international markets, which can provide additional growth avenues. Lower domestic rates can boost its mortgage and personal lending segments, while its international operations can capitalize on global economic improvements. The bank's consistent earnings performance and dividend yield are strong indicators of its potential. Scotiabank stock is now focusing even more on Mexico, moving away from more geopolitically unstable areas of Latin America. Scotiabank is also focusing on expanding its digital banking capabilities and enhancing its wealth management services. The bank's recent earnings have shown growth supported by strong performance in both its Canadian and international segments, and with a 6.66% dividend yield, it's a solid time to buy. Give us a like if you like our video, subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.